What's going on guys? Welcome back to episode 8 on our free to play to main account series. This episode we have a lot of things to get done. First things first, we need to get to tier 6 and that means a solid 9 levels to get to tier 30 or level 30 on all of our armor pieces and 8 more levels for our weapon. So that is the first thing we need to do. But before we go out and start doing some random dungeons, our crops have grown so I'm gonna pick up every single carrot seed or carrots right here and that will actually unlock the crop farmer and will actually level 2 once again last video I talked and explained why I need level 10 that's because I need the cabbages because I'm gonna start to level up my cooking and I need cabbages to uh, be a little bit profitable with the tier 5 cooking so let's go ahead and get all of these carrots and let's go ahead and search for a random dungeon Perfect, we watered all of these crops right here, and these ones, we're not gonna water them. As you can see, I already found a team. All I did was go in the LFG chat, there's a guy who was asking for members near Limhurst, and I said I can DPS, and that's how I got an invite. So let's store all of our carrots inside here. We actually get some earthworms as well. We can use this to make some fish baits, um, and that's pretty good, because we are trying to level up our fishing as well. So we are, if we check our crop farmer, we actually level 10. And we can start farming some cabbage. So I'm going to start farming cabbage next video once these crops start, you know, to grow. And then we're going to start leveling up our cooking because I do want to uh, get to tier 5. So I can start cooking, of course, if we look down here. I can start cooking some pies and some omelets because they do sell for a lot in the market. So let's just, you know, let them get all the teammates ready and let's go do a random dungeon. Before I leave to the random dungeon, I do want to show you guys that I am faction flagging because I want to start leveling up our faction here in Limhurst. So if we check here in the faction info, we will see that I'm still neutral with the faction and I have 7,000 faction points. The reason we want to do this is because once you start leveling up to like friendly and respected and favored, uh, you're able to start buying some of these crests. And I need these crests if I want to be able to craft the Limhurst Cape. And the Limhurst Cape is the cape that I'm mostly going to be using with this build. So I need to be uh, able to either craft it or buy it. But as I'm leveling up my faction, I'm able to get the crest, be able to craft my own capes. And once we are favored right down here, we're able to buy the Borlet. And that's going to allow us to do some rare animal raising. And that's going to be another profitable side to this video game. Uh, I'll be online here. So we are faction flagging. We're going to get a little bit of levels, leveling up our faction as we do random dungeons. So the good thing about doing random dungeons with random people is that these people are actually thinking of doing five to six random dungeons. And that's going to help me out a lot because if they're a good team, and we actually have six of them, so we're pretty good. Oh, I'll take that spear. So I'm going to be doing this for a while, about four to five, uh, possibly even six random dungeons. And that should get us to tier six, probably even to level 35-ish around that area. And then we will return. I'll let oh, I'll, I'll keep you guys up to date with all the chests that I get. And then after that, I think we might be doing something like a gathering. I haven't gathered in a long time. And as you can see, I have 538 learning points. And that's going to help us a lot to get to tier 6 lumberjack. I'm also very excited for July 10th. It's actually five days away. And those random dungeons, soul random dungeons, are going to help us out a ton. And uh, pretty bad loot so far for this blue chest there. But yeah, five days left and the Perishable update will come out. And we're going to have such a lot of content to provide for this channel, including for this account, solo random dungeons and everything else that they added. Uh, so if you are new here, make sure to subscribe, keep up to date to this channel. And when the Perishable drops, I'll be doing pretty much a video every single, like, what, six or seven hours. And I'm also going to be live streaming. I'm going to be premiering my live stream on July 10th. So uh, make sure to subscribe if you do enjoy Albion Online. Final boss coming down with our final chest of this dungeon. Let's see what kind of loot we will be getting. I don't expect much. It is a blue chest. So, here we go. And, yeah. Just a bunch of runes and souls and relics. So, this was uh, all of the loot for the first dungeon. We did get a tier 6 dungeon map. But, we're off to the second dungeon. And, I think we found one just about outside of this one. 
And also, once we run out of dungeons near here, I'll probably be using my tier 6 map uh, just to help out this team. So I think there's another dungeon in this direction, and we will be doing this for quite some time. Alright, so lots of tier 6 stuff. We are doing tier 6 dungeons, but we got a tier 6 hunter hood and a tier 6 stalker jacket. Pretty good. First purple chest, here we go, taking down the boss, and hopefully we get some good loot. Hopefully we get lucky, there we go, 16,000 fame. Let's open this bad boy up, and oh, okay, let's take everything out. Alright, loot, not that bad. Final chest in the second dungeon, again another purple, so that's pretty good, and uh, okay. I think a little bit better, we did get some cursed barbs, how much did they sell for? Put Albin on line 2D. Cursed. Okay, okay, okay. How much do they sell for? 55,000. And Limhurst, 63,000. So pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Let's head out to the third dungeon. And hopefully we get good loot like we got in this dungeon. Okay, so we got pretty trash loot this dungeon here. We got pretty much all blue chest and just a bunch of stuff oh reputation increased that's good actually we got a keeper crest eh, it's all right but we got our rep up so that means we now have a 6.9 percent defense against players and cc resistance pretty good our next goal is to get glorious and that's a nine percent defense versus players and a 10 percent cc resistance pretty good let's move on to the next dungeon Okay, so we got a purple chest on the first floor. This legend, this dungeon is looking pretty well. Let's go ahead and open this. Hopefully we get something good. Never mind then. Wow. That's it. That's it. 15,000 fame. Let's get this chest. And I think we are done doing random dungeons. Let's see. Morgana pool. It's all right. We got actually a lot of tier five runes. About 28 of them. Let's get everything. Let's get out of here, and I think the next thing we're going to do is upgrade our gear set to tier 6. Alrighty, let's go ahead and sell everything we got and see what kind of silver stash we end up with. We got a 6.1 pike and 171,000. Let's move it down just a little bit to probably 170,000 or 172,000. Uh, there you go. Then we got a tier 6 stalker jack, jacket, Let's sell that for 88,000. Let's move that down a little bit as well. We got a master's 6.1. I don't think I'm going to sell the bag. I might need it later on, so let's just not sell that. Let's do the hood, the master hood, 12,000. We'll go down just a little bit, sell that off. The guardian boots probably won't be selling for that much. Yeah, about 22,000. So let's sell that off as well. And for everything else, I'm just going to be putting sell orders, trying to, um, yeah, this is not going to sell for anything, pretty much. Trying to just sell them as quickly as I can. Let's see, the Morgana pole, how much does that sell for? 8,000. It's not okay. Relic. The shield core, probably, yeah, around the same, 8,000. But the one we did get that sells for a lot is the Cursed Barbs here. 53,000 here, pretty good. So let's move that down a little bit as well. So I'm gonna sell everything off. And I think, yeah, the next thing we're gonna do is make sure we have a full set of tier six items. So we can start doing tier six and tier seven stuff. And I also wanna show you guys all the progress that we did this entire video because we did reach a couple milestones um, that I want to mention and show you guys. So let's sell these off. I'm uh, sell that straight. We'd have a six, a tier six map. And yeah, let's go ahead and sell it off. I don't think I need it. And okay, so there we go. We're going to wait for everything to get fulfilled. We're probably going to have like 1.2, 1.3 million silver. So pretty good for those dungeon runs. But if we open our destiny board, these are the things that we currently have achieved. First things first, our weapon is level 33. So that's pretty good. Again, that means we have the ability to equip tier six uh, weapons so we got the tier 6 infernal staff and then everything else our armor pieces are level 31 uh, which means we can also equip level or tier 6 items and then here are all of my specialist nodes here so we're actually level 17 infernal staff specialist 
which that means we have 1.2 million fame. Is that really correct? Yeah, I don't think that's correct. But yeah, so that's it. As well as we reached tier 7 Grandmaster Reaver. And we need to get to tier 8. So we do additional damage to tier 8 mobs if we want to do tier 8 dungeons. If we move up here to the Grandmaster Adventure, we're like halfway done. So that's still going to take some time. And next, let's go ahead and purchase all of our tier 6 stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now tier 6 and we are looking very nice here. We have a 6.2 Druid Cow, 6.1 Druid Robe, 6.1 Mage Sandals, and 6.1 Infernal Staff. Our average item power is 999, so we are one item power away from a thousand item powers, so that's pretty good. We are only missing a Limhurst Cape. We need to buy a tier 6 Limhurst Cape, but we ran out of silver, and Limhurst Capes are pretty expensive, so we're going to have to wait for all of our items to sell. Then we're going to get the Limhurst Cape, and we are going to be above 1,000 average power. So that's pretty good. We're looking very nice. I think the next thing we got to do is, I think I'm going to upgrade or start to level up a secondary node. So let's see, which one should I do? So I think for the second build, and this isn't going to be like our second primary build, but I do have to start leveling my hunter stuff because I want to unlock right up here the dagger fighter because of course I do need the uh, the blood letter as well as the claws if I want to do something like yanking. So I got to unlock that as well as we need the assassin jacket because of course the ambush is pretty good. And then, of course, the next thing is the Plate Boots Fighter because of the most popular boots in the game, Soldier Boots. So I bought everything for Tier 2. So I have Tier 2 Soldier Boots, Tier 2 Bow, Tier 2 Mercenary Jacket, and I bought two Tomes of Insights. And this is how I'm going to level up. First, I'm going to use this Tome of Insights. It's going to be... Uh, it's going to unlock the main node. So I unlocked the Armor Fighter here, the Leather Armor Fighter, and I unlocked the German Hunter here. And then to unlock a specific node, so for the dagger fighter, I have to wear a tier 3 dagger. So I didn't think about that. So let's get a tier 3 dagger. So dagger. Let's purchase that. And then we'll equip that. And then we come up here and for... Yeah, we can just wear a tier 2 uh, mercenary jacket for our assassin jacket there. And then, of course, we just need some tier 2 soldier boots. So, I'm going to use the other Tome of Insight, and then that's going to allow me to come here and just waste some learning points for the Dagger Fighter. So, I'll learn it here. Then we're going to Tier 4 Dagger Fighter. Come here on Mercenary Jacket, waste three of them. Come down here, and this is probably going to be like one. Yeah, there we go. So, now I can wear the Armor Sets if I want to go out and do something like ganking. I got my Tier 4 Soldier Boots. I got my Tier 4 Assassin Jacket. I got my dagger here if I want to do either blood letter or claws and then my mage cowl I'm already tier 6 so I can just easily purchase that so that's pretty good that's unlocking our second build but it's not our second primary build because I want to leave it up to you guys in the comment section below what should I do for my second build so should I be doing like a tank build a healer builds a more DPS bow whatever leave it in the comment section below what kind of build you guys want to see next for my secondary build I'm already doing a DPS with the infernal staff so if you want to see something like healing or tank make sure to leave it in the comment section below and yeah I think that will be it for this episode I did a lot of solo not solo random dungeons but random dungeons with people you know random people out there in the lfg chats also i want to show you guys that uh i'm here i am actually twenty-five thousand points in limhurst for the faction so i only need five thousand more points to be friendly with them so yeah lots of work but we are getting it done once again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later on my next video peace